My, my daughter all the time say, man, when you gonna grow up, man? Y'all don't never stop clowning. You, Johnny Mac, Speedy, y'all just, when y'all gonna stop clowning? That's because I wanna stay funny. When we brought this idea to Netflix, it started by being live in front of a studio artist when we did George Jefferson. That studio artist made me go like, ooh, we got the bug. <laughs> so then when we got the show together on Netflix, which makes sense on Netflix, because we can go a little further. I'd be like every other father, just get drunk and pass out. It's 2019, for God's sake. It's 2021, for God's sake. Damn, this is some good shit. Once we started doing it, there are those moments of teaching moments. You know these young boys, are they out here ghost riding the whip and whatnot? What advice can you give black dads? You don't have to be perfect. You just have to show up. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to spend money. I thought I had to have a present. I share custody with my daughter and my daughter's mom. And when she was little, I thought I had to have presents and buy her stuff. No, man, just show up and spend time. When my daughter was little, I took her to see Santa. And we come around the corner and Santa goes, and who is this? David Allen Greer? <laughs> <laughs> and she was parading around the house going, my daddy knows Santa. <laughs> <laughs> no, Santa. I do this thing where I talk to dads about if they've been estranged from the one that they they were married to or girl, but they have a kid, and I always tell them about going forward. Like, don't don't give up. Sasha, Malia, yes, we can. Because we automatically think moms are by nature in that position to raise kids. I'm like, no, they need us as well. So keep going forward. So our whole thing was showing the dad who now has to do it on his own. Hmm. I love being a father, man. I think about, cause you know, my, I have a 13 year old right now. When people hear the name of the show, some of them think, oh, David's the father, I'm embarrassing Jamie. No, it's Jamie embarrassing his <laughs> younger daughter. I love being a dad. It brings up a lot of memories. You know, my, my daughter started a new school during the pandemic. Somebody asked me the last time I embarrassed her, said, every time I walk in on a Zoom class with anything, <laughs> she hates my beard, the overalls, it's all an embarrassment. Overalls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You, you know what? I, look, it, it, it started out as a, as a seed of me and my daughter's experiences. Those jeans aren't skinny, they're starving. Like, you know, I was always in, I was always embarrassing my daughter. You know, my, my daughter never got in trouble, so I never had to say stuff like, I know you ain't coming here late. I know there ain't alcohol on your breath. I was a Disneyland dad, taking to Disneyland to try to patch everything up, you know what I'm saying? I was doing all this stuff that I thought would make up for time loss. And uh, I hope this answering your question, but the overall thing is, you just gotta be yourself, but never give up on your kids.